Hello then, my lovely subscribers. I'm Black Bright, and if it's the first time you've visited my channel, please subscribe, like, and share. Um, well, I'm going back to the immigration situation now, the new rules for those of you who are applying to get your visa extended. Now, I don't know if you know, but the Home Office has outsourced visa applications in the sum of £91 million. And they've outsourced it to a company called Sopra Steria. And they are working in partnership with the UK Immigration and Services. So what does that mean for those who are applying? Well, we know that... Um, you are now having to do it online. There is no applications that are being accepted by post anymore. And what this means first and foremost is that you must have reliable Wi-Fi. You don't want it crashing in the middle of your application. You do need a reliable PC. You don't want that crashing. You do need um, a good scanner. Because if you get a little cheap scanner or you try to do it by your phone, the reproduction quality is not going to be good enough. And of course, you need a printer because the letter with the barcode, which is invaluable, you must not lose that letter and you must have it with you for your appointment. So that letter needs to be printed off and it needs to be printed off clearly. So those are the main things up front. Um, there are a few centres, uh, but let me um, start from the very beginning, as they say in... Let's start from the very beginning. Might be Mary Poppins. Anyway, so let's see. So once you've um, started, you're going to do your application online. And you know, of course, the first thing they're going to ask you for is the money, money, money. You need to have the money. So by the end of it, you'll probably need to have about 3,500 in your account. And I'll tell you why that is over the period. OK, for one person. So um, once you've they're going to ask you to upload your documents, make sure you check your documents. There's a no tolerance thing, not only with the Home Office, but when these things are automated, it doesn't give room for error. When a human is looking at these documents, they can say, oh, they've missed off that, or they've missed off that. And if they're in a good mood, they can say, oh, they can write to the person and say, listen, you've forgotten to add this. You need to correct this. It doesn't happen like that. It's all automated. So if you haven't, if you haven't ticked a box, or if you haven't responded to a question, or you haven't uploaded all your documents, you're throwing your money away. You need to check, double check, and triple check that everything you have. They'll have a checklist. Just look at the checklist and make sure that all your documents are, whether if it asks for originals, well, since they're being scanned, you don't really need the originals, but you will, be, you will need the originals to take to the interview, and you'll understand where this interview comes in later on. So once you've uploaded these documents on your very efficient and reliable PC, you will complete the you complete it as instructed as it's asked you to do. Um, then um, after you've paid the home office, and always be prepared to lose your money. That's what I put here because, like I said, if you've forgotten something, your money has gone. Um, the platform, once you've completed the form, will redirect you to this company called Sopra Steria. And this is the company I said all immigration applications have been outsourced to. They deal with bulk visa applications and they've been paid 91 million to deal with your application. Um, there have been glitches with the system. Their system has broken down. They've used a blanket um, procedure to assess, which has resulted in, I think, 75% of their rejections being overturned, um, which is a very, very high number. So it's not infallible, but they insist on using it. 
Um, let me see now. The Supra Stereo is working in partnership with the Home Office to provide UK visa and immigration citizenship applications. Help with that. Um, and once you get to that page where it's redirected you to Sopra Stereo, you're going to have to register and create a password. And once you do that, and I guess it'll go through some kind of automated check, it should initiate you with a letter. I'm not going to say it's going to initiate you with a letter straight away, but at some point you will be asked to print off the letter with a barcode that gives you the appointment centres where you're going to need to go for your interview. Now, the interviews, some of them are free and some of them you have to pay for. If you go to Manchester, I understand you're more likely to get a um, an appointment and it's free. But if you go to London, it's much harder. The cost is 200, between 200 and 260 pounds. However, some people say they haven't been able to get an appointment in East London, but they've been able to get it in the better part of London, which is West London. So it's, you know, the luck of the draw, really, whether or not you get an appointment. But you have to be flexible because you only have 45 days within which to have that interview. If it's outside that 45 days, your money has gone. OK. And that barcoded letter is, like I said, is very valuable. You have to bring it to the interview with you, along with your original documents and your passport. Um, let's see what else I've got here. There is a branch in Liverpool, but I hear um, a centre in Liverpool, but I hear it's constantly full. You cannot get an appointment with them. You might be lucky, but it's supposed to be very, very difficult. Um, what else? Um, also, you know, I was talking about this 45 days. You might think it's a long time, but there was, I think, a group of 200 people. They travelled down to London to one of the stereo offices and um, Sopra offices and their machines weren't working. And these people are travelling for miles and sometimes for days to get to where they need to go and only to be told either machine is down or something and they had to reschedule now if they reschedule it might be outside the 45 um, days and then they'll lose their money so you have to make sure you allow sufficient time so that if there are glitches like this I, I think it only happened once so far but if there are glitches like this you're not down to your last few days and stressing make sure you give yourself adequate time another person said you know they just couldn't get an appointment they had a had two young children and um, they couldn't get to, I don't think it was Liverpool, but one of the centres, and that was a centre they directed them to. And, you know, because they couldn't get to the centre because of childcare arrangements and they probably would have had to stay overnight, they actually lost their money because they couldn't complete it within the 45 days. So you have to be prepared to be flexible and go where you can get an appointment. Um, what else is there? Um, oh, they have, you know, they have this premium fee. Um, I think it was £610. And what happened was it used to be refundable if they weren't able to give you the service within that specified period. I think it was 24 hours. Now they've taken that away. You're not getting that money back. You're more likely if you pay the premium amount, whether it's the uh, for the visa, which is 610, or for your interview, which is an enhanced in interview, which I think is about 200, you're not going to get your money back. And they can take about five days, between five and seven days to get your money back. Um, look at this. Yeah, I'm going to put the, some links in the description so you can see what I'm talking about. You can get more information on what I'm talking about. It'll give you the process, the timelines and everything. Um, what else after appointment? OK, after the appointment, um, your documents will be returned after they've been verified, the biometrics done. When you go there, they'll take your passport. They'll take a photo of you, I believe. And um, you do realise that, you know, 
once they're having all this information, but applying for a visa, you're really setting yourself up to be chipped because they have everything about you. You're really selling your soul to get a visa because that's what it's amounting to, really. Um, like I've said, a reminder, a good Wi-Fi service, a good scanner, a good printer, barcode. Overstayers, they have, well, not necessarily, well, some of the overstayers, who are taking the indefinite leave to remain root um, after 20 years, they've got a different process and probably for a reason. Um, they pay online. Of course, they've got to get the DOSH up front. Um, then they'll be directed to the Home Office website and you'll be asked to call a number. I pray that it's not a premium number. That's another thing. With the um, Supra, they do have a, a, a number, but it's one of those premium number that is a 900 number, and it's £2.50 a minute. So I'm praying that when you're redirected from the Home Office, you're not redirected to one of these premium numbers. An appointment will be made with Supra, which is the same people who deal with the other applicants, You'll need to bring your documents with you. You'll need to have the barcode letter, which they'll send you. Supper will then scan everything and return everything except for your passport, leaving you vulnerable, of course. Um, just a warning. Some people have submitted their application, paid their fees and could not get an appointment. I think I mentioned that earlier. Um, close to them as all the appointments were gone. So be prepared to travel. Uh, applicants have been able to get an appointment in in have been unable to get an appointment in East London, but able to get one in West London. Yeah, so just so you know um, that most of the stuff um, I have, you know, that's just a quick scap, uh, that's just a quick um, explanation. You will have all the descriptions down, down below. And I hope you found that useful. Bye-bye.